Hey guys, we're back with another episode in our CPU cooler series. Today we're focusing on the two newest additions from Be Quiet, the Dark Rock Pro 5 and Dark Rock Elite. Both are high-end air coolers designed for silent operation, but let's see how they stack up in terms of performance and ease of installation. Right off the bat, the packaging for both these coolers is impressive, showing that the Be Quiet has put significant thought into protecting these products. The new coolers come with somewhat lighter screwdriver compared to its predecessor and feature pre-installed side fans, hopefully meaning fewer pinch fingers for me. And the top cover has strong neodymium magnets, which is a nice touch. In general, the installation process of both coolers is quite user-friendly. Mounting accessories are neatly separated into AMD and Intel bags, though not all bags are reusable. I appreciate the simplicity of the installation, especially with the limited number of parts and integration with the existing AMD brackets. One minor critique would be the need for more explicit instructions for the first time users, or guidance lines to show which way the brackets point near the CPU. Also the fact that the pre-installed fans come with a non-standard connectors, which is somewhat disappointing, particularly for users who might consider replacing them after the warranty period expires. However, it's worth noting that the coolers come with three year warranty, which offers some reassurance for the initial years of use. Design wise, Dark Rock Pro 5 is elegantly straightforward and efficient. It incorporates a 135mm fan and a 120mm fan, each clearly labeled with airflow directions. The middle fan is particularly user-friendly, thanks to the click-in design. Additionally, the top cover, which is magnetized for ease of access, neatly houses the switches for the toggling between quiet and performance modes. In contrast, the Elite model sports a similar design but adds RGB lighting for extra visual appeal. It features 235mm fans and varies in mounting for the side fan. It's screwed in place instead of being clipped in, a detail I personally find more secure. If we look at the RAM clearance, the Dark Rock Pro 5 offers comfortable 45mm, suitable for most configurations. The Elite model, however, offers a more complex scenario. With the fan fully lowered, you get 32mm of clearance, but it's adjustable up to 71mm. Keep in mind that raising the fan may affect overall performance, and it increases the unit's height from the standard 168 up to 206mm. Now let's delve into the coolest performance, where we have several graphs and data points to share. We've conducted comprehensive tests under various conditions to give you a clear picture of each cooler's capabilities. Kicking things off with fan speeds, the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 5 using P mode, which stands for performance, operates at a modest 1664 RPM, prioritizing silent operation. Meanwhile, the Dark Rock Elite using P mode pushes a bit further to 1928 RPM. While not as fast as PC Cooler's CPS RZ620S's 2080 RPM, Be Quiet here is struck a fine balance between speed and noise. If we look at the noise control, this is where Be Quiet excels. The Dark Rock Elite using Q mode, which stands for quiet, stands out with an impressively low noise level, which is just 35.2 dBA, even at full speed. The Pro 5 using P mode is also remarkably quiet at 40.2 dBA compared to the louder 46.3 dBA of the competitors like the RZ620. But that is just fan noise. Let's get into how it translates into cooling 220 watt workload. At a consistent noise level of 40 dBA, Dark Rock Elite using P mode leads with 74.4 degree delta, demonstrating its superior cooling efficiency. And Dark Rock Pro using P mode closely follows, maintaining competitive performance. Both coolers hold their own against the rivals here. Average power consumption at the standardized noise level of 40 dBA is crucial in assessing CPU's cooler's efficiency. It reflects the cooler's ability to effectively manage heat while maintaining low noise levels. This is particularly important in environments where noise reduction is a priority, like home offices or studios. The Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite using P mode demonstrates this balance superbly, leading the average power consumption of 191.9 watts at 40 dBA. The Dark Rock Pro is also showing good results, making both coolers top the chart and their performance modes are scoring higher at the cost of some noise. Which leads us to the next part, cost. Both Be Quiet models are at the higher price point, with the Dark Rock Elite being the most premium. The ease of use and performance probably justifies the cost, especially for those who value quiet computing environments without compromising on cooling efficiency. But the price difference between a more budget-friendly CPS and Monte coolers is significant. The Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite and Dark Rock Pro 5 set pretty impressive benchmarks in the world of high-end CPU coolers. 
the Dark Rock Elite with its peak performance and slick design is perfect to match for users seeking the highest performance and airflow along with the visually striking AIGB lighting feature. Personally, I prefer the front fan mounting rail and exceptional ramp clearance option the most. The Dark Rock Pro 5 on the other hand is balancing powerful cooling and very quiet operation. It is ideal for high-end systems and demanding workstations where both cooling efficiency and noise reduction are crucial. It does most of what Elite Cooler delivers while being slightly cheaper and probably the one I would choose. However, it's important to know a few considerations. The premium features and advanced technology on these coolers come at a higher price point, which might not fit all the budgets. Additionally, while both coolers offer exceptional compatibility, users with extremely compact cases or unique motherboard layouts should do double check for dimensions and clearances. What are your thoughts on these coolers? Would you invest in a high-end model or prefer a more budget-friendly option? Share your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you want to check out any of the items covered in the video, the links are in the description below. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.